Right, we are back. And this one is going to be a three in one video. I'm going to show you how to get some crazy effects. I love this one. And of course, the, the piece that I made in hashtag 189, we're going to go a bit more in depth with this one too. So we're going to start with this one. This one is super, super easy to make. It's got a really good Halloween vibe to it. There's kind of fractal effects in there as well. You can use this in lots of different molds. Just play it around with it. But the good thing is it's baby lotion. And if it goes wrong, you can wipe it off and start again. So most of you already know I've put some baby lotion in my small needle tip bottle just to make it easier for certain projects. And all I'm going to do is just apply some into the center of my mold and then just using any <laughs> any shape that you've used with that cavity of the mold just to push it in it's that simple we just push that down apply a little bit of pressure any excess we can just wipe away don't panic and then we pull it out and see what we've got so you're left with a veiny kind of texture on the mold now I have tried this with you with actual resin or colored resin and it just doesn't give that effect it just it wants to work its way back to the deepest part of the mold cavity so it just doesn't work now this does and of course this will work with two-part epoxy as well but I'm using UV resin just because it's quick and easy so all we do is just top that up try not to pour onto the design try and pour into the negative space areas and just fill it up I say fill it up but if you want to do something on the back like I'm going to leave a little bit of space and we just cure that you want to cure it for a good two minutes just to make sure there's no kind of cure inhibition two minutes on both sides again you can do this any way you like I'm just showing you the technique so I'm just going to dust the back of that with one of my nail powders absolutely love these we have discovered interference powders work just as well just cover the whole back and then as I always do I'm just going to top it up with some black UV resin just a small dash and make sure you're using a silicon tip tool just to spread that over the back otherwise it will scratch the powder and you'll be able to see it on the other side which we have discovered before as always, massive shout out to my channel members, anyone who's bought me a coffee or a super thanks. Very much appreciated, thank you. So again, we're going to give this a couple of minutes once that has covered under our light. And once it has cured, I'm going to do the water cure just for one minute, as I've shown before, just to take away any stickiness that may remain on the resin. And I'll do this for all the pieces that I'm going to show you, but I'll skip that out. So it's now just a case of retrieving it from the water and giving it a good wipe up. Wipe up? <laughs> wipe over. And there you have a really crazy effect. I love that. And with that powder in the cracks, it's, it's lighting up. Similar to that piece in hashtag 189. It's lighting up the cracks in like a yellow and that is just one color powder bouncing around the light that is absolutely incredible now what you can do with this if you wanted to is spend a bit more time than what I did <laughs> I filled those cracks with some just some mixed up red mica but I don't I don't really like it like that but it's good for a Halloween twist I really do prefer it like this still some lotion in there that I need to clean out but that is an awesome texture right so many of you asked for this one again a bit more in depth so let's do it this time I'm going to use the needle tip bottle to do it so I'm going to draw in kind of cracked design I said cracked that wasn't a swear word <laughs> It might turn out that way though. And then we're just going to build that up over one half of the piece. There could potentially be other ways of doing this, but 
This is just what I've kind of played around with, as you've seen. So we're just going to keep layering that until we want a gap. I'll show you. So we do want a gap from the surface, which is going to give us a solid formation just to finish it off. And you can add as much texture to this as you want. Now, what I am going to do, though, is see these gaps under here. The resin can kind of seep underneath and it's going to risk the curing. So I'm just going to use my silicon tool just to bring that down to the, the actual mold itself. Just so it, it kind of eradicates any curing issues that we could have. And any bits like that, we can just swipe that away also. And now we just do what we did with the other piece. Just fill that up and cover the back of the lotion also. Just bring it up to just below the surface because again, we're going to back it. <laughs> Any bubbles, just work those up and get them out. And you definitely want to give this a few minutes on both sides. And the same as the first piece, we just repeat exactly the same process, but this time I'm going in with a greeny, I think it's like a greeny purple. And there we have it. I did it on the reverse of the one that I did in hashtag 189, but different colours are going to bounce different um, secondary colours, if you want to say that. It doesn't really make sense. <laughs> but it does have a really nice sparkle and effect right so now on to the broken heart and again never just clean it away i use my needle tip bottle and just squeeze it and then slowly let go and you can hear it it's sucking up that lotion so for this one we do exactly the same as how we began that last piece we basically build up a dam. Now the smoother you make the sides, the better and easier the two pieces are going to piece together afterwards. So you can just smooth out as best you can these edges. Just like that. And then we just fill one side, which is going to be this side. Because that's the side we've smoothed out and worked on. We'll just fill that up. And again, a couple of minutes both sides. If you're trying this one with the epoxy, I'd suggest maybe filling the, the whole of the other side just to create a firm barrier so you're not worried that it's going to collapse. And just fill that empty space with the lotion as well, just in case. And then we just take that out. And again, just give it a water cure just to make sure So this is what you're going to be left with, a fragment of the heart. So we take our needle tip bottle again and just apply some small dabs over that crack. Not too much. Just enough to cover it. And then what I did is just use the paintbrush and just covered that all over that crack. Once you're happy with that, also run some of the lotion over the front. So that will help it stick down it back into the mold and prevent any fresh resin from seeping underneath. But this could work with liquid latex, but well, for the crack anyway, I'm not so sure about this part because I don't know whether it will kind of interfere with the mold something that would need to be experimented with first and just give it a bit of a dab all around so then we just carefully pop that back into our mold just get it centered properly just apply a little bit of pressure so you know that it's sealed back inside but the good thing is if you think it's gone wrong take it out and just apply a bit more lotion on the underside so I applied a bit more and you can see that lotion is kind of bonded with the silicon. 
So all we need to do now is just top this up on the other side and cure. Now this one could be a bit tricky with epoxy. You're going to have to try it. Maybe try one of the smaller hearts to see. Don't commit to something as big as this. Okay, so that has cured. And I'm worried, or I think, see those two little areas there? I think the resin could have got underneath, but we can deal with that. So again, I'm going to pop that out as one piece and water cure. This is the part where you need to be careful because if you haven't fully cured this, it could ooze out. So we just give a bit of pressure and it will just snap. There we go. <laughs> and just give that another cure just to make sure all of the edges are just not, there's no kind of um, wet resin where the lotion has been. So all we need to do with these is just dust them and, and do what you how finish them off however you want now you could make this a bit better by putting it on some white tack or blue tack to hold it in place brush your dust in and applying your black backgrounds but i'll skip it anyway because you, you've seen me do it in the previous versions and if your powders aren't adhering properly at this stage what you could do is just wipe them off and give it a very thin coat of uv resin and partly cure it and then apply the powders for a better bond but mine is actually adhering without having to do that, which is good. Now what you don't want is the black to run down into the inner edge or even the outside edge. So just be careful. So there it is, an absolutely epic split piece that you could give one part to a family member, close friend, partner, whatever you want to do with it. But you could even cast that again and make three uh, you could you could do whatever you want with them you could um, turn them into pendants anklets use your imagination but it's a really simple way of creating awesome art yeah you could just saw down the middle and make a mess if you wanted to but i just like to experiment with what i'm doing and it really is a cool technique and we've done some really cool pieces in this video as always give the video a thumbs up drop me a comment if you haven't subscribed it is absolutely free to do so help the channel grow uh, there'll be plenty more like this coming soon right i will see you for the next one bye for now